Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and welcome back to my playthrough of William Scheinstein's book, Adventures in Solo Drumming. That was Robertson's Rademacue from page 20 from this book, and this is dedicated to Hugh Robertson from the Rochester Philharmonic, and that would have been probably in the 1960s or so. So, as it says in the title, this um, piece is all about the Rademacue, and it's in 5-8 time. It's not a very difficult piece if you have a control over playing your Rademacues. There's not a lot of dynamics written. I'm just playing it at a loud volume forte. And the accents are important, and the stickings are really important. Uh, you just want to kind of recreate these as he has written. After you do that, you can go ahead and do your own. Now, there is one blatant typo in this piece, and it's the third line from the end, the second bar. It's pretty obvious for obvious reasons, as you'll see on the screen. And I crossed it out and put the right there. Other than that, it's it's uh, pretty straight ahead. There are always a few typos in these older books, like the Wilcox and the Pratt, uh, the Nard book, of course. So you can expect those here and there. But it's pretty obvious when you have a drag with one, one hand and it ends on that hand. You're not going to play three notes, so left, left, left. You're going to do right, right, left, or left, left, right. I have circled some uh, notes here, and sometimes I do that in these pieces to help me because the stickings, like I said, are unorthodox. And if I'm going along with the normal rudimental stickings, uh, he'll catch you off guard with that. So circling, circling them will help. So I'll play this at a slower tempo for you now. Um, but before I do that, I just want to uh, explain one thing about the random cues, how I play them. And I've said this before on my channel with many, many different solos that use Radom cues. But what I do is I play the drag very softly so it doesn't get confused with the triplet. So I'll just play the first line. One, two, three, four, five. You want to make sure it's very soft and fast. Like that. All right, and just kind of rip them. Um, you know, you, you can play these really quickly. Uh, when played quickly, random cues don't actually sound like they look. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'll play this slowly for you now. And that was the written tempo of eighth note equals 216. We'll go uh, down now to about 190. One, two, three, four, five. On that last bar or last line, uh, last three bars, those triplets are really, really tricky. And you want to pulse with your left hand. It's all about height there. And you see I'm kind of using a whipping motion. So hope you enjoyed this solo, and we'll be back soon with the next solo in the book.